question for both players. Uh, a couple weeks ago, Coach Walls had mentioned that uh, this three-game stretch that ended today with Miami was going to be a tough stretch, and he pointed out in particular Miami as a tough opponent. What was it about the Hurricanes that uh, really uh, challenged um, you all, and what was it that they were able to uh, do successfully today? Um, they challenged us. They challenged us to hit shots. You know, and today we didn't shoot the ball well at all, but um, defensive wise we had a lot of breakdowns a lot of breakdowns so when you're playing a team like this who's really playing well right now you don't want to have those um breakdowns so you know it was a tough one for us but we'll 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 bounce back yeah they're they're a great team with a great coach who knows what to do where to put her players in successful spots um rebounding and defense we're running some of the main things and like i just said our shots weren't weren't falling tonight Kylie, just in this season, have you gone up a combination inside that's been as tough as Montpere and off that you can remember? A combination that's been that tough? I mean, they're great together. If you double one, the other ones, you got to box them out. They're, they're a really good post players, both of them. Both of them can score. Um, I, I don't think I've played post players like as a combination that's been that good since I've been here, to be honest. So it was tough. <clears throat> I remember. I remember after the UConn game, um, the talk was that you know that was just one game. There was still plenty of time left, plenty of games left in the season. After a game like this, do you have to just remind yourself uh, of that same mentality that you know that there's still four games left in the uh, re uh, regular season and still tournament play left as well? Yeah, I mean it's the same thing. Same thing when you win. Same thing when you don't win. So that's it. You know. Um, this is this wasn't the final four game. This wasn't the sweet 16 game. This was a regular season game. That's it. So, of course, you hate to lose. It's part of it. You can't win all games. So yeah. it's really part of it. it. It sucks. It really does suck. But, you know, you have to move on from it. Yeah. Can't let one lead to another. Ellie, you had a pretty huge block there in the first uh, quarter on that. Just what did you see on that to uh, make that play that got the crowd really fired up? Well, Coach Walls is always telling me to sprint back, so <laughs> that's what I did. And um, I knew she's going to go in, so I just put my hand up, and I got it, luckily. This is a little bit different question for, for both of you, Asia and, and Kylie, but Asia, especially you, after the game, fans are lined up all the way to the top of that lower concourse to sign autographs, and it's probably not the first thing you feel like doing after losing, but... You know what? Uh, what does that mean to you to see that response? And how do you feel even after a loss, standing there? It's not not easy, I'm sure. It's not a bunch of autographs. Right. I mean, it feels great. You know, just to get a hug from a fan. Um, you know, I mean, we have great fans, even when we lose. You know, I mean, I sucked today. I played like, but you know, so. But you know, fans are still there. Fans are still there cheering smiling it really makes you feel good it does so i'm thankful for that our fan sports amazing so. the other question i had coach said on the radio he's a little surprised he said after the way this team handled syracuse way it played at virginia tech he was a little surprised that to see this kind of result there are you guys surprised at all is there something the team has to kind of do to look inward at this point too I mean, yeah, I'm I'm shocked. I mean, I'm pretty sure we all are shocked. We didn't expect to lose that game, but um, things happen. You know, we have to learn from it. This is part of our our journey. You know, this is part of it. So we, this is another chapter to add to our book. So we learn from it. This this is what we need to do. We need to learn from it. Learn from the things we didn't do well, not the things that we did great. You know, this is a this is a huge game where we could really learn from the things that um, we didn't do well and apply it when we need it, you know? Yep.